It's um, a very devilish conspiracy. First, it was Oyema, the owner of LP's indicting Freud Airline of trying to kick out local players in the aviation industry of Nigeria. The, their governments are supporting them to do this and take LP's out. The idea is to take LP's out. And the moment they succeed in taking LP's out, Nigerians will pay 20 times over once again. It's going to happen if, God forbid, they're able to take LP's out. Now, another person is voicing out its frustration of foreign players in his industry trying to sabotage effort of local player in the industry. Who is this person? This is no other than the Africa richest man, Ali Kodan with him. The mafia in oil, they are stronger than mafia in drugs. Is this a global mafia? Is it? Both. Is it? International oil companies, IOCs, operating in Nigeria, are seeking to undermine the operations and profit margins of Africa's largest refinery, the Dangote refinery, by asking for high premiums for domestically produced crude oil. A senior official of the the refinery made their session while addressing the media over the weekend. Recall that Dangote Refinery began production of refined products in January after a series of delays. The vice president of the group, Deva Kumar Edwin, adds that while the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission is trying to its level best to allocate crude oil to Dangote Refinery, the IOCs are willfully frustrating their efforts. But the PIA, which is a Petroleum Industrial Act, has mandated the supply of crude oil to all local refineries. Apart from that, there is a quota of crude oil allocated to Nigeria to be lifted on a daily basis, which is about 2 million barrels of crude oil per day. And about 650,000 barrels of this crude oil is allocated for Nigeria daily consumption. And the government has also mandated all IOCs to supply or sell crude oil to all local refineries in Nigeria in Naira. The question here is, who is to blame for the failed supply of crude oil? To local refineries. Is it the IOC or the government who is in charge of regulating the industry? All the ma major marketers have been patronizing the local refineries and will continue to patronize them. And we also have the option of getting products from other sources. The truth is, there's a new conspiracy spreading across Africa and this game is well structured out. Well, this is not starting now. It has long existed. The allegations made by Oyema and Dangote are true. But what is the aim of this conspiracy and their profiteer stance to gain? Some century back, Africa and some other continents were controlled politically using slavery and colonization. But in this era, these imperialists are doing this through neo colonization, exploring economy as a tool for re colonization. Neo colonization can only strive when developing nation remains poor, and this can only be achieved through the free market economy policy. In one of my videos, I speak of the vulnerability of the free market system. If free market economy is not well regulated, it can be a tool for neo colonization. The free trade policy preach the opening of domestic markets for foreign investors. In fact, one of the conditions for IMF and World Bank loan is to implement the free market policy. But have we come to think of it? Why free market economy? Why the privatization of state owned assets? Why foreign investors, when local investors, can't be supported? The prosperity of a nation will not come by allowing dominance of foreign investors in its economy. But in the prosperity of its local investors, these foreign investors portray their profit to their country, leaving the country with little benefits. Please click on the like icon if you find this video insightful and thought provoking. Free market economy preach providing on evil ground for both foreign and local player. But how is this a leveling ground when almost all foreign investors coming into a country or into any country comes with the support of their states? So in case anything goes wrong with their investments, their capital is well protected. The, their governments are supporting them to do this and take it please out. How do you now expect local players to compete favorably with such heavily supported investor? But why are the foreign and some local players in the oil and gas industry sabotaging the Dangote refinery with little supply of crude oil? When LPs was not yet in the Lagos London route, solely dominated by foreign carriers, the cost of flight from Nigeria to London was so exorbitant. But when LPs came into the London route, and brought down the cost of flight to more than half of what these foreign aliens were charging. They re-strategized and started charging below the fair charge from Nigeria to London. It's um, a very devilish conspiracy. Uh, all of a sudden, people are under, uh, airlines are underpricing. Underpricing, that is below the cost. That's in the space one month. Yes, not up to a month. One other airline was advertising $100. Another one, $305, $350. It's, if you, Fill up the entire aircraft and carry people on the wings. It's not even enough to buy your fuel. So why are they doing that? The question is, 
Were this not the same airline that said the reason for the hike in cost of flights was because of the narrow devaluation and the backlog of their money trapped in the Nigeria economy yet unpaid? But why the sudden drop in their charges? In fact, they are often far better than what even LPs could even offer. This is the gist. The aim is to take LPs out of the aviation industry just like what they have did to other indigenous airlines in the past. So why are they doing that? Their governments are supporting them. Their governments are supporting them because Nigeria has been a cash cow for everybody. The, their governments are supporting them to do this and take LPs out. The idea is to take LPs out. And the moment they succeed in taking LPs out, Nigerians will pay 20 times over. But the case of Dangote is a different ball game. No one is going to say this in the licensed media because of sanction. These foreign players want local refineries to buy crude oil at a more higher price. And how are they going to achieve this? Is by first exporting the crude oil out of Nigeria to the international market. And this local refinery will now have to go to the international market and buy back this crude oil and import it back to Nigeria. Do you want to know the real truth? How happy will you be for someone to take away food from your table forever? This is what that water refinery is doing to these foreign refineries, where some Nigerian investors will find the Nigerian crude oil before importing it back to the country. This refinery will bring an end to the era of fuel subsidy and probably if subsidy will still exist, Dangote will be the new oil lord in the industry. And that's what some local player and foreign players in the industry never want to happen, the fear of monopoly. There's a lot of intricacy at play. One, the government mandates all IOC to sell crude oil to all local refineries in Nera. Selling in Nera to local refineries, as the PIA also mandated, is not a good deal for these guys because they need the money to keep coming in dollar. The hidden truth of this allegation is that not just only the foreign players sabotaging the effort of local refineries in African markets, but our indigenous player who has established and spread their tentacles in the industry to maintain dominance. Don't want anyone to take away food from their table. They are the real sabotage of the African growth and development. And whether the, the local oil producers, even the IOCs, are selling their crude fully to you and what that means for the supply chain of refined products into Nigeria and whether there's been pushback, there's a lot of questions there, but you know where I'm going with this. Well, you know, <laughs> the lady, you know, in a system where for 35 years people are used to counting good money and all of a sudden they see that, that uh, the days of counting that money has come to an end. You don't expect them to pray for you. Of course, you expect them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please, if you find this video insightful, please click on the like icon and also like this video. And please share your opinion on what you think about the mafians in the oil and gas industry in Nigeria. 